Welcome students, this is the learning how to draw class. If your schedule says something different, you're in the wrong place. Okay, a lot of people are in the wrong place today. Well, for the rest of you, today we are taking the first steps in an amazing journey to become artists. Your imaginations will shape the world, move millions, ignite the hearts of Yes, you do you have a question? Who are you? Ah, I am your art teacher, Mr. Brad. And what's that sound? The music? That's that's my theme song. I I have a theme song. And you're a professional artist. Yeah, I, I have a YouTube channel. So no. I, I can teach. We have a lot to cover, and today we're gonna be starting with the basics of drawing. We're gonna be going over lines and shapes and everything you're gonna need as a foundation to move forward and become an artist. So I'm gonna go over how this class works. If you're working from home, follow along and feel free to pause this video at any time to get your materials ready, or if you just need a little more time with any of the assignments we cover. Or you could just watch the whole videos and then look at the chapter markers down below on the video to go back to certain sections if you want to do the assignments. Every class we're going to cover a different topic that will give you a good starting place for learning how to draw. We'll go over the materials you need and then we'll have lessons where you can learn an important skill or two and I'll leave you with homework and even link to other free resources available here on the YouTubes. What if we don't want to do the homework? Then you will only be hurting yourself young man. Let's go over to the supply cupboard and see what we're going to need today. For this lesson, all you need is a pencil and paper. That's it? Well, you could draw on the wall or something if you don't have paper. I want to use my iPad. That's fine. Draw with anything. I have these cool pens. Use those too. I also have the Bingo HD 360 Pro, the most advanced drawing tablet ever made. Oh, son. Should have washed my review before buying that. Why is it smoking? Oh, no. Important fact. Don't get too hung up on what tools you have. Whatever you want to draw with is fine. And if all you have is pencil and paper, great, because that's all you need to do any of these lessons. Looks like we're ready to start. To be an artist, you have to start looking at the world like an artist. Everything you will be drawing is made up of simple shapes. We can boil it down to just three. Boxes, circles, and triangles. Just look around this room. Circle, box, triangle, circle, box, triangle. Some items are made up of multiple shapes. And this is what I mean by looking around at the world like you're an artist. You should start breaking down things that you see every day around you into these shapes and ask yourself, how would I draw that using basic shapes? You've probably drawn all these shapes before, but since this is our first lesson, we're gonna be starting with the very, very basics. These three shapes are all made of lines and drawing lines seems pretty easy, but what about drawing a very straight and very long line? Let's go to assignment one. The first thing I want you to do is make a bunch of dots down one side of your paper and a bunch of dots down the other side of your paper. Now what we're gonna be doing here is pretty simple. We're gonna be connecting those dots with a line. The key here is to keep your wrist straight and draw with your arm. If you draw with your wrist, you're far more likely to get a curved line. But starting on one side of the page and moving your whole arm is gonna give you a much straighter line. Sometimes practicing your stroke before you actually place the pencil tip down on the paper can help you make these lines even better. Yes, you with the question. What about those shapes? These lines are gonna make up our shapes. Any kind of square that you wanna draw is just a bunch of points that we're connecting with lines. In fact, that's assignment two. Feel free to pause the video here if you wanna finish assignment one first. For this assignment, you're gonna need three pieces of paper. Paper one, I want you to fill this with squares. Treat every line like it's important. Start putting down your dots and practicing each line individually. Make it as straight as you can. Try to start on a dot and stop on a dot. Try not to overshoot too much. This is gonna take some practice, not to overshoot or undershoot, but this is the kind of practice that helps you develop control. Piece of paper number two is for triangles. We're going to be doing the dot thing again, except this time we're only gonna be using three dots to draw those careful lines. And if you don't feel comfortable drawing a line, like it's just at a weird angle, feel free to turn your paper. That's not cheating. That's just drawing. And page three is for circles. Now circles are a little bit different because you're not using straight lines. 
when practicing your circles, try drawing them in the air over your paper first. Get familiar with making that circular motion with your entire arm and not just your wrist. Like this? Uh, no, not exactly. I was thinking more of your hand just hovering above the paper. With the other lines, I wanted you to practice controlling starting and stopping, but with these circles, I want you to overshoot. Feel free to go over that circle once or twice. That's just good practice, and when we start to do ellipses, which are just circles that are a little bit narrower, that's going to come in handy. So to recap this assignment, three pages, one of squares, one of triangles, and one of circles. Can I have a volunteer? You. Jimmy. Could I use the bathroom? No, I need you to stand up here so I can show the class how everything is made of basic shapes. Okay. We can break down Jimmy into these basic core shapes. Squares, circles, and triangles. Then once we have that structure down, we can start to add our detail. I'm so basic. We can fix that. Cube, circle, circle, cube, triangle, cube, cube, Dude. circle, circle, triangle, cube, That's a lot cube, of shapes. Cube, cube, um, circle, triangle, uh, this triangle, is getting circle, heavy. Cube, cube. When you see a complex drawing, it's not the shapes that are more complex, it's just the number of them and how they're positioned. How are these staying on? I don't really know. Not again. Wait, wait, wait. This doesn't make sense. You said that these shapes make up everything we draw. But look at the box filled with half-eaten Pop-Tarts over there. That's not made of these three shapes. <gasps> oh my god! Been lying to you. I don't like this anymore. Hold on, hold on. I can explain. I was keeping it simple for our first exercise. Now that we have those basics, we can move forward. What these three shapes represent are two-dimensional versions of cubes and spheres and cones. Oh, oh, that makes sense. I still don't like him. I'm going to add another shape in here. Cylinders, just for fun. Half sphere, half cube, all shape. How you doing? Our first group of shapes were two-dimensional, but many of the things you're going to be drawing in life are going to be three-dimensional. So as we look at more complicated shapes, like that half-eaten box of Pop-Tarts in the corner, where are the Pop-Tarts? Uh, Mr. Brad, I don't feel so good. Can I go to the bathroom? Yes, just hurry. When we look at the empty box in the corner, it's a cube. If we want to draw a very simple cube, we can draw a square and then draw angled lines coming off these three corners. Then we can close those angled lines with two more lines and boom, you've taken that square and you've turned it into a cube. Granted, that is a pretty boring cube, but we could draw it other ways too. For example, we could start by making a diamond shape. This diamond shape is going to be the top of our cube. And then we're just gonna draw three lines going straight down that are all about equal length. Then we'll close them up at the bottom and now we have a cube from a different angle. This is hard. Yeah, if you've never done this before, it could seem complicated, but we're gonna be going over these shapes again and again. Spheres are just circles, and like the cubes, they exist in a 3D space as well. To draw them, I like to find the center line. So if we're looking at this circle straight on, these are just gonna be straight lines on our circle. But if we tilt the circle a little bit, these lines are gonna become more rounded. Now, when you draw your circles, what I want you to do is to draw the full ellipse, even the part that you're not gonna see behind the circle, just like this. And then for that center line, I wanna do that again. If you wanna make it look pretty, you can always erase the back half of those lines. But the wider you make that ellipse, the more of the side or the front of that circle you're going to see. Now the cone is pretty easy, it's a triangle, but instead of a flat line along the bottom, we're gonna add an ellipse here. The taller we make that ellipse, the more it's gonna look like you're looking down at your cube. And you're going to want to adjust the top of that cone to accommodate for the size of the ellipse that you've put under it. Now the cylinder is similar. It's a box with an ellipse at the top and an ellipse at the bottom. The bigger you make your ellipse, the more of the top or the bottom of that cylinder you're gonna see. And these are the four shapes that make up the core of everything that you're going to be drawing. There's the bell. I've got some homework for y'all. I want you to practice these cubes, spheres, cones, and cylinders. I want you to take your pencil and paper and draw four of each, and you can turn it in tomorrow morning when you get to class. Mr. Cowboy, there is still a Pop-Tart at the bottom of the box, and I don't think you can draw that with one of your fancy 3D shapes. <gasps> oh my god! We've been lied to. Hit subscribe if you want to see the next episode to see if Mr. Cowboy can explain to these children how to draw this Pop-Tart using the basic shapes they learned today. Or if you're from the future, you can click this link right here and see it immediately.